<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another Break 80 episode round. I am at Quick Biot Golf Course in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. Hyping that drive up the fairway to start is always a good thing. Here I'm hitting my second shot with a 5 iron from 210. I try to play smart and not get too aggressive, leaving myself this nice uphill chip that I can hopefully convert into a birdie. myself this fur birdie putt and I drain it hole number two is a 360 yard par four I don't hit my driver I end up hitting my gapper three hybrid as it's pretty tight to the left leave myself 130 yards with the pitching wedge I do pull this shot though but still somehow find the edge of the green leaving myself a long lag putt for birdie it's a tricky putt though through the shadows and I couldn't get a good read I end up pulling this a fair amount, leaving myself about a five footer for par. But I drain it. Hole number three is a 339 yard par four. The play is left and I pull it right into the trees. So I'm left with a pitching wedge here that I'm just punching out to get up and over to give myself a chance at a up and down. I had a decent shot there. Leaving myself with this chip which I end up hitting far too long. And this live putt does not end up very close, leaving me with this comebacker for bogey. And I train that too. Hole number four is 138 yard par three with a good amount of wind. I end up pulling this pitching wedge just a hair right, which seems to be a common trend of the day. Leaving myself with a tricky chip here on a side hill. Put it on a good line, but it runs out a little bit further than I would like, leaving me with a 10 footer here, which sits on the lip and <laughs> drops. Oh my gosh. Hole number five is a very long par four into the wind. I hit my driver really well, but still leave myself a bit of trouble with a tree in my direct line. I smartly try to play for the front and hit an easy five iron from about 240 into the wind. I end up leaving myself quite a bit of ways here with this chip as I pull it and it doesn't run out the way I expected. The magic runs out on my putter though and I don't manage to get a par. Number six is a dog leg left par four. I end up hitting my drive straight through the fairway here into some tree trouble. I've got a nine iron that I tried to thread through the trees and I actually hit about as good a shot as I can. Pretty surprised with my luck here. Still leaving myself a chip and a putt for another par chance. I hit this one just about perfect. It bounces up on the green and rolls right past the cup. Oh, I thought this almost dropped. But I roll this in for par. Hole number seven is a 212 yard par three. I end up hitting a seven iron, which wasn't the right club choice. I should have hit a six. I pull it a bit and leave myself in the trees and not an easy look at a pitch. I end up shortening a nine iron and try and bump it up there. And it rolls out really, really well to within four feet. Nine. That was crazy. I'm pretty shocked. Oh, a tree. <laughs> I drain this putt as well. Hole number eight, par five, 510 yards, dog leg a little bit right. I slip on this tee shot and just about lose it out of bounds left. Here I take a five iron right through the tree, just trying to leave myself a decent third shot in and make a birdie. End up putting myself 130 out and I pull up out of this pitching wedge again, leaving myself short-sided left side. Not a good shot. Here I put a chip up really, really close, and it rolls by, and I think I'm gonna go in again, but it rolls out a fair amount further than I expected, so I have this for par, and the magic oh. runs out on the flat stick. Magic ran out. <laughs> Two over on the front side through eight. Hole number nine, I'm hitting a six iron. 
I take oh, it pretty lightly, good. don't really go after it too aggressively, but I have it on a good line and leave myself in a good spot to make an up and down par. Two over on the front side, 37. number 10 here is a big dog leg left 434 yards I crushed my drive off the tee here leaving myself about 205 left I hit this a little bit thin but it's on a really nice line and it bounces up there leaving me a birdie look I put this on a really good line but I just run it past sink it for par this next hole here is a 270 yard par 4 and I decided to hit driver which probably isn't the smartest play but I landed it right on the green giving myself an eagle putt not every day you get yourself an eagle putt this is probably the worst putt of the day I don't leave it near high enough leaving myself a long birdie look pretty disappointed in myself Put this on a good line though and leave it just on the bottom and tap in for a three putt par. Here I hit a seven iron from 212 yards. This hole is playing much downhill and I just catch the very front edge of the green, leaving myself this long lag putt, which I put really tight. And I tap in for another cozy par. Hole number 13 is a 456 yard par 5 and I do my best to make an absolute mess of this hole. First I tee off and I'm barely in bounds. I hit a nice punch 5 iron though, right to about 80 yards, leaving myself a gap wedge in. And I proceed to stub it, bounces up to the top of the hill, and begins to fall back down. And down and further down and further down and finishes right here in the fringe my next chip shot isn't much better leaving myself this long par putt I pull it Close out with an ugly six. Hole 14 is 162 yard par three, playing more like 150. I hit a nice easy eight and end up coming up out of it again, leaving it a little bit on the left side. You're home. But I'm in my comfort zone here with my putter and I put this fairly close. And I convert. Hole 15 here is a beautiful hole, but unfortunately my drive I pulled way right, barely staying in play here. I hit a 5 iron, a fantastic 5 iron to about 25 feet up the hill. Nice. Stay up there. Quite possibly the shot of the day. I put this birdie putt on a really good line, but it just bounces out. Tap in for another par. Three over for the day. 353 yard par four. Bowser. I pipe this drive right exactly where I want to, leaving myself 80 yards out with a sandwich. I hit this shot just a little bit too hard and it runs through the back of the green, leaving me a very difficult putt. And I run it way by the hole. disappointing bogey four over through 16 17 uh -oh. is another hole where I decide to play a lot of close golf with OB here's a five iron that I push way left hits tree limbs and comes back in 
And here's another five iron right on the edge. Where I managed to hit tree limbs right away. And I get a huge break and it bounces back down into the edge of the rough up by the green. I just need to scramble with my sandwich here to still make a par. But I pull this chip a bit and don't even put it on the green. Leaving myself a very tricky downhill putt for five. And I run it way by. Hate to see it, but a double. 18, 426 yard par for dogleg right. I smoke this drive right where I want to. Still a good ways away as I didn't really cut the corner as much as I thought. So I've got a five wood 220 in. And I hang that one out left a bit. Here I got a sand wedge in. I leave it about 10 feet away. Still giving myself a chance to shoot six over. Hoping for one more putt to drop. It doesn't, but I do end up breaking 80. Thanks for watching.